What then is faithfulness all about? Hi, my name is Vaidara Rokimani and welcome to today's live series. We've been on such an amazing journey covering the fruits of the Holy Spirit and you've been following us through the last couple of videos. We have gone through love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, goodness, and today we get to learn a little bit more about faithfulness. Faithfulness stems from the word faithful. And the word faithful in the English Standard Dictionary means to be steadfast, dedicated, dependable, worthy of trust. That is in the English Standard Dictionary. So what then is faithfulness when it comes to us as believers? What then is faithfulness as a fruit of the Holy Spirit? I believe that faithfulness comes in different facets. We have first our faithfulness to Christ. Being faithful or faithfulness then as a believer is believing God is who he says he is and continuing in that belief despite life's obstacles it's believing god is who he says he is and continuing meaning you're still believing the same even when life gives you challenges in the book of hebrews 11 i love that that chapter because it is just a testament of people who stood in faith men and women great and great men and women anchors of faith and if you have time, perhaps you may not be able to go through it, but I would encourage you to encourage yourself by going through Hebrews chapter 11. A story is told a parable of the faithful steward and allow me to just go through it real quick in the book of Luke chapter 12 and from verse 42 when it says, And the Lord replied, A faithful, sensible servant is one to whom the master can give the responsibility of managing his other household servants and feeding them. If the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I tell you the truth, the master will put that servant in charge of all he owns. But what if the servant thinks, my master won't be back for a while and he begins beating the other servants, partying and getting drunk. The master will return unannounced and unexpected and he will cut the servant in pieces and punish him with the unfaithful. And a servant who knows that the master wants but isn't prepared and doesn't carry out those instructions will severely be punished. But someone who does not know and then does something wrong will be punished only lightly. When someone has been given much, much will be required in return. And when someone has been entrusted with much, even more will be required. What then has God entrusted you and I as believers? Are we being faithful stewards of what God has given us? Or are we slacking and saying, ah, he's gone. We don't even know when the Christ is coming back. You know, let me live my best young life or old life or current life, wherever you are. Are you being a faithful servant with the little that God has given you? Sometimes we live our lives comparing our giftings and our skill sets and what God has entrusted with us to other people. But God has given you what he has given you because he knows you can handle it. Are you then being faithful? Can God count you faithful if he shows up unannounced? Or will he banish you forever? That is such a challenge to us, our faithfulness to Christ. What then are the, are the obstacles to our faithfulness? What then, perhaps a challenge or a question you can ask yourself, what are the obstacles that are making me not be faithful, that are making me... Um, not stand as a faithful steward and, and not be faithful to God. All this, our faithfulness begins with God, with God. We choose to put our confidence in God and his eternal faithfulness. So he's calling us to be faithful by trusting his faithfulness. I'll repeat that again. He is calling us to be faithful by trusting his faithfulness. Therefore, it is an intentional decision for me to trust his faithfulness. Am I in a storm? Yes. Are things not the way I think they should be? Yes. But he is too faithful to fail you and me. And therefore, I choose to roll or release myself recklessly into his abundant faithfulness, trusting him holy and that is what is going to build up the faithfulness within me faithfulness is also the evidence of the holy spirit working within you as we submit ourselves to the leading of the holy spirit we will grow more and more faithful how is your submission 
how can we can you be can you stand to be counted as someone who has submitted wholly to faithful to to the holy spirit and therefore is counted faithful what can be said about you and i think for most of these fruits it's such a moment to introspect and to ask yourself can i be counted faithful am i submitting to the holy spirit i cannot have the fruit of something or someone that i do not know that of someone i do not encounter therefore are you submitting to the holy spirit a challenge to you and me he calls us to be faithful by letting the holy spirit work he calls us to be faithful by trusting in his faithfulness and he calls us to be faithful by letting the holy spirit work the beauty the beauty of these fruits of the holy spirit is they are accessible to you and i who have believed therefore to all of us who may not have known jesus christ as lord and savior of our lives a call to you his arms are wide open and he's waiting for you. You can reach out to us on our platforms here on Facebook or on YouTube and someone will pray with you. Because these fruits have been made accessible to anyone who believes, to all who have believed in him. Faithfulness is also trusting God when opposition is imminent. There are people and things and forces that are opposing us and that make you question your faithfulness to Christ. Therefore, faithfulness is standing to be counted, even when opposition is eminent. A call to you and me. The beauty about having, uh, having Jesus Christ in our hearts is we have so many chances. He is so gracious and full of so much love. And therefore, may this be the challenge to you and me to grow in our faithfulness by trusting in God, letting the Holy Spirit work, and standing to be counted even when opposition comes our way. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you so much for reminding us about faithfulness, reminding us that we need to trust you wholly and completely in our walk with you, reminding us that we need to submit to the Holy Spirit and his leading so that the faithfulness may grow in us, and reminding us that you have given us everything we need even when we face opposition. We release ourselves to you, to the praise and glory of your dear name. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you next week, even as we continue with this fruits of the Holy Spirit. I think next week we'll be tackling gentleness. See you then. Stay blessed. Barak.